Ah, j'en suis ravi. Évidemment, c'est ce que j'ai cherché, c'était mon but. Créer un style, il n'y en avait plus. À mon sens, car il n'y a pas de style en France. Il y a un style dans une nation, tout ça. Il y a un style quand les gens de la rue sont habillés comme vous. Et je, et je, crois, je crois être parvenu à ça. Mais je ne crois pas à la copie, je crois à l'imitation. C'est déjà bien beau d'être arrivé à l'imitation. C'est plus important. Mais même ce qu'il y a de plus important, la copie, c'est une chose très difficile qui ne se pratique plus. Vous savez, on a beaucoup chassé toutes les petites couches de pierre, on a fait un tas d'histoires pour défendre des choses inexistantes. Car ça m'a toujours semblé, ce qui m'a semblé le plus ridicule, c'est qu'on veuille défendre une mode, une mode On ne peut pas défendre la mode. Pourquoi la défendre Elle n'est pas une mode si personne ne la voit. Vous comprenez Alors, Et on veut la défendre. Alors, il y a un cas. Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers and today I am by myself I, on, in the middle of the Scottish Highlands on the way to somewhere pretty amazing to be fair it's the history behind it that's amazing so I will catch up with you in a minute I'll try and show you where we are in a second and wow so as you can see we are in the Scottish Highlands there's just me like I've just mentioned um, Andy's back down in England I'm away with my family but I said the first rainy evening we got then I would come out exploring and I would try and get in somewhere that I've wanted to get in for a while and we're on Thursday of the first week and it's our first evening without sun. So I thought, let's do it, let's take advantage. Right, I'm here, I'm in the car park just round the corner. I'm nervous, nerves are kicking in. And you know this is not, I'm not a nervous person. I need Andy here with me. <laughs> anyway, let's get out and let's uh, see if we can find this place and then hopefully get in without getting caught. Right, so I'm in a little log cabin at the moment. Car's there, and we're heading off that direction just down there. It's beautiful in here though. I love how up here they make sure you're looked after and you have strange looking eagle things on the wall. But yeah, let's head off that way. So, I bet you're thinking, because this is what I think, why didn't you come when it was sunny, when it was nice? And when there's blue sky, there's two reasons. First reason, I want to do stuff with my family while I'm up here, while it's nice. So I don't want, God, I'm a bit shaky today. I don't want to waste beautiful evenings when I should be with them. So that's the first reason. But secondly, there's less likely to be people out and about near where I'm going. So it's sort of a bit of a, helps me be, undercover a little bit more. Anyway, there's a car coming, so I'm gonna stop filming. Right, so this is the entrance where I'm going in. Now, as you can see, it says up there, 1923. So, what's that? 97 years since that was put there. It's crazy. Anyway, we need to hurry up and get down here before any more cars appear from down there. Coco Chanel, who owned this property at one point, was Obviously, really, really famous for, for perfume. And her most famous perfume, which is Chanel Number no. 5, everybody knows Chanel Number no. 5, was released in, I think, 1921. Just two years before this place was built. Now, she got a lot of high-level English friends, including Winston Churchill, who's been to this place, hunting with her. Now, I do need to start being quiet now because I'm getting a lot closer. And as you can see, just look around me. There's just me in the middle of nowhere. Now, that's brilliant, but also any voices, any noises will be heard by people. If there's anybody about, I don't know what the situation with the place is. I don't know if there's any sort of security on. I know there's a house down at the bottom of another lodge where people live. So I just don't know. So I'm gonna try 
and show you as much as I can, but I'm nervous, I'm really nervous. I, I wanna get in this place so much. And if I don't, I'm gonna be devastated. But if I do, I don't wanna be caught when I've been in one room. Just round this corner is a house, which I didn't know was here. And it's a house where there are clearly people. The lawns are cut. But that place is looking like it's been left a rack and ruin. But what I've got to try and do is get over there without being spotted by the house that's just there. So how do I get to the other side? I'm gonna have to head that way through all this really thick, thick grass and cut round to the front. This is so nervy because I know it only takes them to be out in the garden. I know it's pouring, but the hardy people up here Something's just pulled up. I was so lucky if I'd gone then. I would have definitely been caught. Right, I'm gonna make my way this way to try and take the house out. Just down there. He came with some right speed. And I just wonder. up this road, I can just jump and dive into this lot. I hope you can hear me okay. He's going again. Oh, that's the other thing about Scotland, midges all over your face. Right, he's gone. Hoping that's the only time he'll need to come here. But I'm still gonna have to go a long way around. Right, so I'm down the side of the house now, where there's a destroyed caravan. And look at this. Old SO pump, right in the back garden, but I suppose, back then, they wouldn't have them. Um, just petrol stations knocking about here and there and everywhere up here. So, now I'm gonna try and get from here, over there. being spotted. Not sure where I'm gonna go next though. Because everything looks pretty well boarded up. Right, I found a way in. This window opens. So I wanna get myself in there and then I could I can talk a little bit louder. So I'll see you in a minute. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. Right, so I am in. I, I didn't expect this at all. Now, I've got to be really careful with torches. I've tried to come while there's still light, so it's not too bad, but we are still going to get rooms like this. It looks potentially like, I don't know, um, pantry, something like that. This next room is really odd. The first room we're going into is really strange. It's got big benches all the way around the outside. But like I said, I've got to be really, really careful with this big light. So I will try and shine it to the back of the building but I'm gonna have to be careful at the front right so I've literally not even been in here but I could see this big bench around the outside now Coco Chanel who owned this 
and I lived here in the 20s, got myself intermingled with the Nazis during the war, but yet she brought Winston Churchill here on at least one occasion. Now, this is the view over the back. It's just rolling hills. It would have been perfect for uh, hunting and one thing or another in here. Uh, 700 acres, I think. Yeah, definitely 700 acres, this place. So yeah, first room is pretty, pretty plain. And I think it is gonna be wrecked in parts. Look at that. Is it built into the stone? The actual floor is built into stone. That's crazy. A little, oh, so they've had like underfloor heating in here from the 1920s. That's unbelievable. Now looking at this fireplace, I would say that's slight, I don't know if it's slightly later, like 40s, it's a bit basic. And obviously the 20s and 30s were really like fantastic, but he did get some basic designs as well. Now I'm gonna try and whiz around as much of this as I can, because I've just got an horrible feeling I'm gonna get caught today. What is this? There's a noise outside. Imagine the parties from that barrel. What we've got here, sherry. Bottles of sherry. Don't know what that other one is. Oh, this is amazing. Who has drunk out of these bottles? Who was the last person to have a drink from one of those? Oh, we've got all the old newspapers up there as well. I'd like to have a look, but I don't want to disturb it either. I want to see what date it is. Mother's Pride. Don't know what year they came into being. Crazy this, absolutely crazy. Now, I'm shaking, because I've definitely just heard a woman's voice talking to somebody else, or obviously not talking to herself. So I don't know if I've been caught already. I really hope not. I don't know whether to sit tight. Just get round it. I'm just gonna go and have a look round. This room. Look at it in here. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Look at this. Look at the old beds. Sorry for being quiet again. I've just got to be really careful. But look how ornate that is. That's wonderful. Now the... Oh, look at this. Look at the design of that. I was reading, it's the only place in the country that has got interior design by Coco Chanel. You can hear in my voice how shaky I am. I'm so scared of being caught. Not only because I'm by myself, but just because I want to see this place before I get caught. I want to see it properly. Matching little dresser. This room's massive. So big. It's been used by the looks of things. Oh, look at it. I wonder when that's from. But that's had some sort of. Um, I'm that nervous. I've forgotten words. But it, it's got. Um, like a, it's had a candle in it. Number two there on the door. That's the original handwriting of whoever put that door on. Oh 
I thought the door was wide open there. Find a little teddy bear. Look at this. What was this used for? What would that be used for? This house is so echoey. It looks like people have been sat in here having a little meeting. I really am so sorry for how quiet I'm being and how nervous I sound. You must be able to hear it in my voice. But this place is amazing. And this opportunity to come in here is, is crazy. Anyway, I want to keep looking. Now looking at this, it's like off a big hay wain. So it's what they used to pull. Put that, attach that to the horse, attach that to the cart and pull it along. That's maybe a commode, not sure. But then you've got Arabic, potentially Arabic writing. And I don't know what they are. It's really, really strange. And then like the fridge freezer, none of it seems to match, but I think it's probably been used to store stuff. <gasps> There's wet dog prints on the floor. Chaise Lounge. This is the roof that's collapsing, I think. The big archways. This is inside, but it feels like outside. Yeah, it's like a long corridor. And that's back up to the house where I've just gone from. I'm going to keep away from this bit for a bit. And head upstairs, I think. Footprints have worried me though. I can hear water dripping everywhere, which makes me worry about floors. And I say that, look at that. That's like it's had a, a big torch in it of some sort. Look at the floor in here. But look at the old bath. You just know, you don't know. Winston Churchill might have jumped in that bath. Don't you think that's amazing? They might have had a, a dump on that toilet. But I'm not going in. Not with that floor, not being by myself. Right, so looking across to where I came in, you can see the extent of the damage to the roof. And this place is just dripping with water. Now there is and upstairs but we'll stay on this level for now look at the size of this this fireplace is massive absolutely huge and this is the room right in the front of the building now the cottage is right there there's nothing worth seeing in this bit anyway I just want to give you the, a sense of how big some of these rooms are. They're absolutely massive. Now this is the one with, I'm presuming the ensuite that we just saw a minute ago, that's all collapsed. That's in there. Um, but the, the, the windows in here must be what, six, 12, 15 foot tall. Where do you get windows that big? But it just shows you how bad this place has become because of damp. This whole wall here is starting to bow out. So there's all the, the big cracks in the wall and you can't really tell 
from here. Let's see if I can show you. You can't really see, but it, it sticks right out of the wall. Literally one bang and that lot's gone. Now if you just listen, you can hear the amount of water coming in this place. Now this place had bids on it in January of this year to be turned into a massive hotel. And from what I've heard, it all fell through at the last minute. I wonder if they actually came and saw all the water damage here. But you could still strip it back and make this place absolutely amazing. But look at it. It's just dripping from every ceiling into pretty much every room. Now, this is what I expected in a lot of the rooms. They are just empty. But look at some of these period features. Look at that. It's like cast iron, fireplace. And obviously it's going a bit rusty, but that would have been magnificent. And imagine that roaring on a cold Scottish winter night. Be absolutely beautiful. Now, as I was mentioning to you, 700 acres, and it includes the rights to fish that river, Salmon River and shoot all around here. Look at that buzzard. I don't know if you can, you'll not be able to see it, I don't think. But there's golden eagle around here. There's osprey. There's, there's all sorts. Pine martins. All your amazing Scottish things. There's big houses on the hill over there as well. I can see there's a CCTV sign down there, but that doesn't usually put me off. Oh, look at this. So, another big bedroom, but with built-in wardrobes. Another big, beautiful fireplace. This one, quite not, as, not quite as grand as the last one, but it's bigger. Now, like I was saying, she got quite a lot of stick for his, her involvement with the Nazis back in World War II, which you would expect. But so I know she was giving out free perfume to GIs, Chanel number no. five. And she had to run off to Switzerland for a while. But this was her glory days. The 1920s was when she came here before the war and she spent a lot of time living here. It's just crazy to think of the people that have walked in this building. And what a shame that it's become what it's become. Now we've got stairs down there. It's quite a little cool bit. I think I'm above, maybe above that little corridor that I was on before. There's actually more houses around here than I thought. There's another house just over there where you can see the cut grass. So I'm surrounded really. They will all have been houses probably for the servants and people to do with this whole estate. So I'm glad they've been kept going, even if this one hasn't. Now it just shows you how bad this place is getting in places. I've got to be really careful because look how green that is. But I'll try and show you in here. Look at the state of that. It's all coming, they've put new roofing up there and it's all coming between the cracks and it's just destroying it. But these, the original stone walls look inside. It's so well made, so solid. What a shame if this place ends up just being destroyed. Like I said, I had a feeling a lot of the original features were being stripped back. But for me, it's not always about that. It's about the history of stuff that's gone on off in here. I'm thinking which room Coco Chanel slept in, what went off, and I don't mean dodgy. I mean, the wild parties, like it's the 20s and 30s for God's sake. Imagine Winston Churchill on the cherry. It's probably him that's had that bottle down in the cellar. But yeah, chugging that down after a good day's hunting, talking about all the dodgy things that they talked about because they both had some very, very odd views, really, really out there views compared to, to today. Now, I'm not knocking Winston Churchill. I'm very sort of patriotic 
And I, I don't want to say anything bad about him, but what I will say is that it's just not the same as today. But that's part of the allure to it. It's just totally different. And it's the history of this place. It's just crazy. And I've just noticed what might be a bottle of perfume. <laughs> it can't be Chanel, surely. Yeah, just on the windowsill here, look. It's not, it's quite new, I think, that. Looks like, it feels like oil. Look, it's weird. What a weird thing, just having a windowsill there. I'll have to have a smell. I was totally right, it's a little bottle of olive oil. So if somebody's obviously had aching joints or something and wanted to make himself, well, I suppose she could have done it because she will have cared about her appearance and what she looked like and even into her later years she she kept up appearances she's into perfume and fashion and all that sort of stuff so she's gonna so you just ne you just never know anyway i'm gonna head back down a flight because i think i've missed a couple of rooms there is another set of stairs up here so we're gonna head up these ones which are really weird because look at that it's really, it's like the door to the toilet, but then you can see straight through it. I'm guessing there would have been some glass. Oh look, they've been doing some, some work up here. So obviously work has started at some point, but it looks like it's then been given up. And all this has been boarded out. Oh my God, the floor, once again. I don't think you can tell how much that drops away. Really bad. Storage in here. Yeah, so this has definitely been, this is where they've started. They've started at the top of the house to get it all sorted out. What is this? Have they boxed off a fireplace? Really strange. Can't get up into the other wing from here, so I'm guessing you've got to go back down to go back up again. So we just where that toilet was. There's actually some steps right next to it, so we're going to head down there, see if we can get up the other side. I'm so aware of my own voice, how echoey it is in here. Right, so that is the long corridor we were on a minute ago. So we're currently the nearest we could be to that house. Oh my God, look at it in here. Look at the old stove. Look at that. That's crazy old. Got skis, they're old skis as well. I wonder if they were used. They look like period skis. Coco Chanel skis. Wow. And then we've got doors. I think they may be newer, I'm not sure. Bits of furniture, shutters. This is so crazy exciting. I absolutely love this. I wish Andy was here with me. I hate doing things when he's not here, but I couldn't miss this opportunity while I was up here to have a look. So, I'm gonna head down into this little room here. I think it's another torch off though. Oh my God, look at it in here. Look at this. All the legs off all the furniture that was in here. I need to turn the torch on to show you this. Look at this. All the little drawers with the little buttons. They're early buttons as well. Zips in that one. Whoa. That's from a gun case. obviously from a little bit later and I've just figured it out what this top is 
it's very, very difficult for me to hold it up and show you. But under there would have been the sewing machine. That's why you've got the buttons and things in there to sew back on, but it's not there anymore anyway. But look at it in here. Oh, look at the shoes. These are more modern shoes, obviously. But it just shows it's been used after that. And the big, thick, is it metal? Yeah, metal doors. Metal doors on there as well. Really weird. But look in here. Another massive room. This one's got more stuff in it. Modern stuff. Looks like someone's been rooting through it, to be fair. I keep seeing a lot of books about child craft. I don't know what child craft is. If you do know, let me know. Because I've just got no clue at all. But it's all like, well, it's schoolwork in here. It's like someone's been homeschooled. Because you've got modern school atlas. So I wonder if those books are to help homeschool a child. Then we've got lots of videos. Oh, but these are like Thomas the Tank Engine, Scooby-Doo. Not what I expected to find in here. And then that. TV Play Karachi Centre, Jungle. I don't know if an Asian family owned this place at some point or in this same room we've got big, big bags of like chilli powder, kidney beans, spinach leaves. So it's like they were a fan of chilli con carne or, or maybe a curry. I'm not sure. What's that? Oh, gram flour. Yeah, it's like Indian cooking, isn't it? Really strange. Really, really odd. Right, I've made my way back to the rooms that I first came in. And I feel like I've built up a little bit more confidence now to be a little bit louder and have a look properly. Now I've had a chance to look everywhere. Because that's it, I don't want to get caught before I've seen everything. Look at that fireplace and that monkey. Poor monkey. Some of these things are extremely old. Some of these things are very, very 1970s. And then some of them are just like 80s and 90s. But I love this. I absolutely love this. I don't know what it is. What it was used for. Look at that. An ornate fork. Now that could be 30s, 40s era. And typically, where I'm from, Sheffield Steel. <laughs> it's uh, silver plated. Wow. So that's come all the way up from where I live to here. You will never believe what is inside this. Some of you will, some of you will be like, are you stupid? Can you not see what it is? But, wow, let me show you. I don't even, I don't know what date this would go back to, probably 30s, let me show you. So this would have been pulled along by horses with the old wheels on. It's the fire engine. It's got all the hoses in it for the fire. Is, is that not amazing? Can you imagine that being trundled along to you? I don't know even, they would have attached it to an old pump as well. But that is madness, that's so good. That's the coolest thing in here by far, by far. Look at that. Going back into one of the other first rooms I went in, just gives us a bit more opportunity to have a, a closer look at things. See if there's anything we missed the first time round. There's so many little bits of stuff. I think my granddad used to have something like that. Somebody in my family used to have something very similar to that. And I think that's like 40s, 50s. Now Coco Chanel wasn't here during the war. She was in Nazi occupied France as far as I'm aware because that's when she apparently became a bit of a conspirator but I'm not 100% sure on the history of that I've just read 
some stories about it. That's pretty much it for this room. What I will say is, I'm surprised a lot of the things in here are quite tacky. And I don't mean the stuff that's originally here. The original stuff is amazing. But a lot of the stuff that's been put here in maybe the 80s or 90s, it's, it's like tar, it's tacky. I can't find anything that looks like this place deserves. You expect it to be something grand and amazing and it just isn't. I don't know whether the people came here, bought it, spent all the money and had nothing left. I just don't know. I don't want to speculate because these, these are real people, but just doesn't seem like it's been treated like it deserves to be, which is such a shame. Such a shame for somewhere like this. All right, so we're back at the end of that corridor again, but the opposite end this time. Now, these may be the stairs that go up to the bit I've not been to. But I'm going to try and cover what I've not seen down here. Oh, look at this Arga or range. That is huge. I know everybody says it, but look at nature taking back in here. What is that? I have no idea what that would be for. I'm just not, not sure what this room would be for. It's weird. It's got like sliding doors with a stone floor, but it has no real purpose. Really odd. Oh, we're next to that caravan. This is where we came in. For here, and this is like a little workshop lock. So it would have been used. So that's probably what that room was. Like tinkering and like extended workshop. Brilliant sinks. Is it like lead lined that? Or copper lined? I'm not sure. Brilliant. I wouldn't want to be drinking out of a lead line sink, I don't think. But there is more outbuildings over there, look. I'll try and check those out before we go, but I've got to be very careful. Oh, look. Look along there. So we were at the opposite side of there. I've come all the way around. Look at the size of this building, it's huge. Let's have a quick look up here. Finally, we come into a bathroom where the bath isn't about to fall through the floor. But it's a decent length, that. I reckon that's a good six foot long. I'd love that bath. I do like a good long bath and a deep one. I've always wanted a roll top bath, but my bathroom's tiny. So what they've done is, they've took all the features and the character out of this place. They've put plain, bland, walls and do you know why they've done that greed because they've made the rooms that were massive into half the size and the reason they've done that is because they wanted to turn it into a hotel and the more rooms the more money and i hate it it takes all the amazing features out of these brilliant buildings just for a bit of cash and these people although it's restoring and saving the building they sort of should be ashamed of themselves for not looking after them. It's not just about money, it's about our history. And that's what we will try to keep. We get a lot of people, and we will get people in this video saying, oh, why have you come here? Why have you shown people? And one thing or another, because if we don't, no one will ever get to see it because it'll be destroyed. It'll be gone forever. And yeah, there's not loads left today, but there's enough to give you an idea and paint that picture in your mind of what it once was like. And that's what I'm passionate about. And there's a dog barking, so I'm going. Right, we're on the corridor that I was really scared of earlier on. And I'll show you why. So the house. Oh, there's a car there now. I don't know if there was before, because I wasn't looking. Because I was in those, in the bushes just there. The house is there. You can't see because these work windows need a good clean. What were these rooms used for? The light in here is beautiful, actually. The big arches. Almost like prison cells. It's weird. 
And that's new, but I reckon there probably would have been something all the way around the edge in here. Like a washroom. After a day's hunting, come and put your boots in here. Right, so I was talking a minute ago about the roof that had fallen in and how, like whereabouts it was, well I found it and it's crazy, look at this. So another one of these rooms, and this is how it would have been originally, look. We've got marble top, brickwork at the bottom, or like tiled brick. Look at that, it's just gone all together. They're doing a nice little bit on there, windows. It's just all fallen down. Oh, look at that. That shows the age of the piping. Look at the um, insulation on it. That is old, that is extremely old. And then there's a big door, which is open straight outside. But the problem with that is, once again, I walk out of that door and everybody sees me. I just love that corridor though, especially with the arches. I'm actually surprised there's no cellar in here. I've had a good look around. I can't find any, but I suppose because it's built onto the rock, as we saw earlier on, and because they've got all these outside rooms, that's why they don't need one. So that's probably why all these arched rooms were here to store stuff and all the stuff at the sides. So I'm gonna make my way out of here now. I'm hopefully gonna be able to show you either the front or the back of the building, if not both because it wasn't particularly easy to show you before, but now I've got nothing to lose. Right, I'm outside and I'm round the back. There's that house I showed you, just behind these trees. But this is the back of the house now. You probably can't see, but at the top of there, it says 19, I think it's 1922. I've got to be careful, because this is obviously their drive that runs down to their house. Right, so I'm about to make my way back out the way I got in. I do want to go and have a look around these buildings, but if I see anybody about, I'm off. I would rather not be caught if, help, if I can help it. But yeah, I'll, uh, I think this is the safest way. I could go back out that big door at the back, but then I'd have to walk around the front and I'd rather sneak round. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I'm out. I've got to make my way through this jungle again and try and get in these little side buildings without being noticed. Like I said, if I can't, it's just one of those things that we'll give it a go. So yeah, that will have been some sort of mechanics workshop for the cars probably. Right next door, that's the side of the building. I've shown you the back. I think the only one that I haven't shown you properly is the front. I might have done it at the beginning actually, I can't remember. Anyway, let's go. Right, so I've come back round to where the SO pump was, where we were earlier. And this, looking at the floor, looks like it was the old stables. So before the cars, they would have had the horses. And there's another one next door, but it's just full of wood. But yeah, uh, imagine them coming out on the horses in the morning. Oh, they've been doing clay pigeon shooting, look. That's what all those orange things are in there. They're the pigeons. So yeah, that literally is everything. Everything we could have looked at, we've looked at. So we definitely need to get out of here now. Right, I'm being brave. That video in the front. How grand would have this been? All that grass would have been sorted out. In fact, would this have been the back? I think it would. I think the back is the front and the front is the back with all the outbuildings and that little sort of servants run bit that we were looking at earlier on. Anyway, that's why I'm being cautious. So I'm gonna head back off. But what a place, what an amazing place that is. Right, so I'm halfway up the track, back to my car. I've been caught, look. This little guy, this little guy's just caught me. Says I'm in trouble. I've got to get out of here. 
otherwise he's going to shoot me. Look at him, aggressive, very aggressive. Right, so I'm back at the car. God, that has been nervy, really, really nervy, but amazing. Now, a couple of bits that I didn't mention in there, purely because my mind was everywhere else. Uh, it was her love nest, this place. This was her summer retreat. Uh, she obviously spent a lot of time in Paris, in London, uh, and she came up here with the second Duke of Westminster, who was her lover. Um, I think it was called Hugh Bedner. Oh, no, Hugh Bendor something. Oh, Grosvenor. Hugh Grosvenor. Hugh ben Bendor. Funny middle name. But anyway, she spent a lot of time uh, leading up to the Second World War here. Like I said, a lot of hunting went on with Winston Churchill here and his son. Um, and they used to have parties here as well. Obviously, like I said, 1920s, 30s, you would expect that. Um, but yeah, wonderful place. And I really, really hope somebody comes along and saves this place because there's been countless, I think it's on for three million pounds, so like $3.5 million on the market. And there's been people that have come and they've made bids and it seems like it's fallen through, whether that was coronavirus at the beginning of this year or whether it was just they saw the amount of work that needed doing, I don't know. But some work has obviously been done in there. But it, it's classed up here as as like a, a Scottish, not monument, but something of history. It, it's someone really important. Everybody knows Chanel. Obviously, she's died now, uh, Coco Chanel, but she spent a very long life living very a wonderful life. I, I would love to have seen some of the things they got up to back in those days. But yeah, it's a bygone age. It's something that will be lost eventually, and it is a shame that some of the rooms are getting sort of made very boring. But hopefully, that will be brought back to life at some point. Anyway... I'm going to make my way out of here because I'm very soggy, I'm very tired and I want something to eat because I've not eaten all day because I've been nervous for this. So I will see you soon and next time I will have Andy with me. Make sure you get on our Facebook page, come and see us on there, all the different social medias. Uh, our second channel, Beep of Beef, we are uh, planning to put some new content up, up on there now. Lockdown is over so get ready for that. Anything else? Uh, new merch, which is not that new anymore, but it is, it's sold out once, so I will get on it as soon as you possibly can. And that's it, really. So we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.